welcome everybody. It's Greg Evans from the Hashtag Show, and I am here with Jeremy Kuhn, and we're going to be talking today about one of the greatest Star Wars moments of all time. Well, and some people might say the greatest, the others might say it might be the biggest disaster, but we're getting ready to talk about the holiday special. And Jeremy here is the director and producer of a documentary called Dist A Disturbance in the Force. So Jeremy, welcome, and uh, glad to have you on here today to talk about the holiday special. No, thanks That's for having me. Appreciate it. All right. So we're going to get right into it because obviously the holiday special has been a topic among people for many, many years. It either separates Star Wars fans or brings them together. Um, but what was it about the holiday special that made you want to do a documentary about it? <clears throat> the first thing I just had so many questions because I was like, I really want to know the context the special existed in. But over the of the last 15 years, it's become such a pop, a part of like popular culture that I, I was actually shocked that no one had already done this documentary because there's a documentary on everything. Uh, so it's just, it's just, a, it was fun to like just live in the late seventies and learn about it. So, I mean, all that stuff at the end of the day, we just wanted to make a fun film. Yeah. So obviously in the documentary, I, I got to see a, a sneak peek of it. And uh, you know, one of the things about the holiday special, it was, it's definitely hard to get your hands on a copy of it. Um, so how, you know, obviously through, you know, YouTube and everything else, there was different aspects of it out there, but how hard was it to actually find a decent copy to really sit there and research and find all the little hidden stuff and everything about this, about this crazy special? <laughs> yeah. I mean, YouTube is an amazing resource. Like I would say, I mean, I spent countless hours just scouring for like, not even just the holiday special stuff, but holiday special related things of like yeah. people talking about it and like, we were constantly finding things up until the last minute before we had to finish the film. Uh, yeah. I mean, like Mark Hamill gave like a random, like red carpet interview with some, someone had like 10 followers asked him a question on Vimeo. And I was like, Oh, I got to put that in the movie. It's great. And then uh, no, we got a copy. We have a copy. I think it's off the half inch master. So it's about as good as it's going to get. Yeah. Uh, but, and I actually, I took that and actually ran it through an AI upriser for the movie to kind of sharpen it. So it's, that's the, the special has never looked better. And I think that in our movie. Yeah. So, so obviously this was like the, it was very taboo for a lot of the star Wars stars to talk about, you know, the holiday special. I mean, you see that with Harrison Ford kind of <laughs> denying everything yeah. and stuff like that. How hard was it to get, obviously you had a lot of actors talk about it, but how hard was it to get to some of the actual star Wars actors to, you know, even talk to you about the holiday special? I actually kind of like them being, I mean, I've some, we, we got really close to interviewing Mark Hamill, but they, he basically has this gentleman's agreement that like, he's not going <laughs> to talk about the holiday special, at least in a formal context, but we had enough archival of all of them talking about it. And like the Harrison Ford stuff on Conan, like that, we would not get a better interview than, I mean, he was such a good sport during that, that that's about as good as it would get. So yeah. it's, I, I kind of feel that like Lucas doesn't care about the special as much, but he just prefer that it would go away. But they do feel beholden that it's they would prefer you know they don't want to basically make george angry i think is kind of the part but they but they, they all find it amusing yeah so so with your interest and in, in, with your interest in the holiday special how kind of excited were you when we started to see some of the stuff get pulled into the canon world of star wars like in solo when they talk about you know chewbacca's family and stuff like that and then they showed what the script was actually supposed to say um, how exciting was that to see some of that stuff actually come out into canon? That was gold. I mean, all, all the references <laughs> to it is like one of my favorite things. I mean, the first part, because I think we had just started like six months in, like we we're barely starting the movie when Mandalorian came out. And like, that was just like fuel for us where it's like, oh, people really care about this. It's out there. And uh, yeah, we tried to find as many references as we could to the holiday special in various media. There's like one we didn't include, uh, because it was too long, but like in Supergirl, they talk about Life Day and the holiday special. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's just it's just kind of like Easter egg, like if you know, you know type thing that I yeah. think makes the holiday special really cool. Yeah, it looks like Disney's starting to jump on it a little bit because now, you know, this year, a lot of Chewbacca, Life Day, you know, special figures and stuff came out. So it looks like they're starting to kind of grasp it a little bit there. Um, but one thing wasn't really bad about the holiday special, um, because obviously that's where we got the birth of Boba Fett. You know, how exciting yeah. was that for you to talk about? And, you know, really kind of that was actually to me was the highlight of the holiday special. Um, but yeah. how exciting was the Boba Fett content to you and when people talked about it? 
I mean, it's a super, super cool looking cartoon. It's for those of them, it's like first introduction to Boba Fett's this like nine minute animated uh, segment that's in the special. And I think it shows up like way late in the special. It's like 75% of the way into the special. Uh, but yeah, it's the first time you see him and like the animation, people knock the animation. I actually think it's really cool. It's just like, it just feels very 70s. Yeah. Like everything about <laughs> it is of the time period. It's also the first time that like any of these characters have been animated in that style and then like nilvana who did that ended up doing like ewoks and uh droids and a lot of other things uh but i mean it's one of those things where like if someone said like what's positive from the special like everyone leads with the cartoons great <laughs> boba fett it's the first time you see him but also it's yeah. the only thing that's on disney plus from the holiday special like yeah. you can go and watch the faithful wookie right now yeah in, in pristine quality <laughs> yeah so so not everything was too bad about it that was the good thing about it so what was your yeah. biggest during this documentary, what was your biggest challenge? Uh, oddly enough, everyone reached out to was like super positive and supportive. Like every celebrity reached out to was just like, yeah, I, I have to be in this. I want to be a part <laughs> of it. I mean, just overall, I would say it just took time of figuring out what what the story was and trying to, because a lot of stuff I feel, it was trying to sort out like what was real and what was myth. Yeah. Because there's so much people have like made up about this. Like, uh, like the whole, there's a really famous quote about uh, George Lucas says he wanted to go and smash every copy of the holiday special with Sledgehammer. And we interviewed, I, I, we, we traced it back and I was like, I think this is, because you can never find a source that would attribute that quote. It was never in print. It was never on video. Anyway, we talked to Steve Sansweet and he was like, oh, that came from me. I told it, George told me and then I repeated it at, uh, at a Comic-Con in uh, Australia. And it was kind of like stuff like that was nice to get the root of it. And it wasn't even like he wanted to smash the holiday special. He didn't like the bootlegs. Yeah. That's what angers George is he doesn't have control of it. And these crappy bootlegs are floating around. <laughs> so it's, I don't know, just, just all of that. And like, there's a bunch of stuff with Charlie Lippincott. We had to kind of get the bottom of like yeah. the meaning that was the Genesis, but it's just like being a journalist is the way I view it. So, I mean, that's the challenge, but it's just, it's actually really fun as well. And then, obviously, I have to ask this question to everybody when we talk about the holiday special. What is, for you, the most cringe moment out of that whole entire special? Uh, you should know the answer to this, because anyone who gives <laughs> another answer is wrong. It's the the VR Wookiee porn stuff with <laughs> Diane Carroll. I mean, that's, I don't care who you are. The first time you see that, you're like, what is this? Like, who? why is this, like, this? did someone cut this in by accident? Like, it doesn't make any sense that it's there. It's totally inappropriate. <laughs> like, <laughs> But it's the best thing. Every time we watch the movie with a crowd, that is my favorite thing in the film when we get into that segment because everyone gets really uptight and they don't, and then it's okay to laugh at it because they don't know whether it's okay to laugh at it. Yeah. But that's that that's to be the most cringeworthy and my slash favorite part of the whole yeah, holiday I special. I would like to see in that room and that idea came up and have a salesman brought around this little box that you can look in. Um, but definitely, uh, I agree with you 100%. That was definitely the most cringe moment because we used to do a, a showing every year. Um, and that was like you said, everybody kind of was like, do we talk about this? Do we kind of move on from it? What what happens? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the favorite aspect, I, Diane Carroll passed away. She wouldn't do an interview anyway, but she passed away before we could really push on her. But the uh, I love to know, like, did, did she, she had no idea it was on their side of when she was shooting that. Like they shot her segment and they're like, oh, you're going to have a Wookiee that's being aroused on the other side of this. <laughs> I would love to know her reaction of like, uh, yeah, if anyone ever even told her or if she watched it, like, and so that would have been a very amusing story or we could have shown it to her and she could have found out at that moment. But <laughs> yeah, so definitely a, a lot of interesting stuff with, you know, with the holiday special. And can you tell our, our, our fans, um, you know, disturbance in the force, where can you, where can you watch that? And how do you, how do you get it? in your home yeah so it's on digital and blu-ray and dvd right now it's on amazon so it's on like apple amazon digital it's on apple amazon voodoo and google play but I, the best part to get the update is just go to our website it's uh disturbance in the force.com there's no a because i someone already taken it and i couldn't afford, <laughs> afford to buy it so yeah disturbance in the force.com is uh our website and it has links to everywhere where you can get the film we're also still doing some theatrical screenings uh, around the country and up in Canada. All right. Well, Jeremy, thank you so much for your time today. Um, obviously, I could probably sit here and talk hours about the holiday special. Yeah. <laughs> um, this was some of the stuff that, you know, we will never leave our heads. Um, but, you know, it's, it's great that you're doing this documentary and bringing up a, a very interesting his, 
part of our Star Wars history. Um, so we, as a fan and somebody who actually enjoys watching the holiday special, I want to thank you for that. Um, and I want to thank you for having you on today. No, thanks. I appreciate it. And, and for everybody else, make sure you follow us over at the hashtag show on social media. And until then, be safe out there, everybody.